Hello and welcome to GG Mars Hill, the place where we play good games all day, every day. I'm your host Mars Hill and today we're going to be playing some Total War Attila. Yeah, some Total War Attila. I've been a itching to get back to playing this game. I haven't played it in a long time so I will be very rusty at it. And uh, it, this is my opportunity to actually complete a full campaign of which I will be playing the Swabians. And I'll be doing on hard difficulty and the victory objectives. I will be going straight for Divine Triumph. So survive until the following date of spring 40, 450, control 100 settlements, defeat 40 different factions. Yeah, lots to do. So this will be an interesting playthrough for a noob such as myself. So yeah, the Swabians. Uh, cultural trait, the Great Migration. So they're one of the migrating factions. Um, and this gives them growth when initiating migration or resettling, which is good. Um, so once we've settled again, I guess that will allow us to build up fairly quickly and uh, get ourselves settled in the region of our choice and um, this particular faction, the Swabians, um, are skilled migrators so horde buildings construction costs is reduced by 35% and they have 35% upkeep for 10 turns for any army that loots or sacks a settlement. So we're going to be looting all the way, I'm, I'm going to be aiming for Spain, so I'm going to go for this area here, it's going to be rich in resources and such, I'm just going to push on down, I'm going to be looting along the coastline as I push into uh, northern Spain here. But no, let's get the game underway, let's start the campaign. Do 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 The air was filled with smoke and blood. Rome was weak. Tell you what, we're going to skip it. We're going to get straight into the game. The avaricious Huns have driven your people into the heart of the hostile Roman Empire. Although your flight across the Rhine has earned you a brief respite from the Horde, you cannot stay here for long without invoking Rome's ire. Meanwhile, your kin and allies, the Alamans, try valiantly to protect your ancestral lands from the marauding Vandals. Though you may aid them in their struggle, your true destiny lies to the West and the untold riches of Hispania. The road ahead is tough. You must pass through the Empire, and the Romans will oppose you at every step. However, there will be many opportunities for plunder and glory along the way, and the chance to carve out a future from their fertile lands. Fantastic! Right, so like I said, we're going to be pushing into Hispania, or modern day Spain, and we're going to take all the riches and the fertility from the lands as we go, and we're going to plunder the Romans and take them out. So, uh, mission issue, chapter 1, preparation, they made ready for war, surviving to the following date, spring 400, new objectives have added. Right, so when we reach that day of spring 400, it's currently 395 AD. Um, so we got five years, five years to survive until then, we get 2,000 money in the treasury. So we're going to push on uh, to Lugdunum and we're going to sack this place first. Actually no, you know what, instead of that I am actually going to, I think, no we're going to go for it, we're going to go sack. We're going to, we, we want to get some money in our coffers ASAP and we're going to delay, uh, declare war on the Western Roman Empire. And uh, I think we have to uh, procure some uh, siege equipment first of all. So we'll just get some ladders because they're the quickest to actually build. And as you can see, we've got the an uh, overwhelming uh, superiority in this battle. So I'm just gonna continue the siege. I'm also going to have a look at our objectives, and I can see here there are a number of things. So lack or suit three different. Uh, Loot or sack three different settlements. Okay, so this will be the first one of three. Um, and some other bonus objectives for this primary objective. So this one here, labour service. I think we should quickly just go ahead and get that very quickly. Might as well. It gives us thousand thousand uh, monies. Good old money. We always need money, don't we? Current treasury. Right. And Influence here is the accumulated standing of a character within your. We'll get rid of him. Looking at it. 
I want my heir to have a wife. So I'll adopt. No, I don't want to adopt. I want him to seek a wife. And her, what could she do? Arrange a marriage with one of my other nobles, I suppose. What's wrong with her? What's this? She's a harridan. Mother always said I was also too, uh, always too good for you. Poor mother. Personal infant might plus one per turn, minus zeal, and her chance of having illegitimate just with children on the husband. Right, well, we don't want that now, do we? So, for the time being, I'm just happy with that one guy. Our, what's his name? His name is Rechula. Rechula is seeking a wife, so I'll leave him to do what he needs to do. Uh, we will attempt to secure loyalty or divorce, embezzle funds. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right, we'll end the turn there. So that's the first turn underway. out Lugdunum from the Royal Western Roman Empire. We'll quickly auto-resolve and sack it and then we'll continue our journey down south towards Spain. Um, we'll go through Vienna next or sack Vienna. Right, so we... He's been rejected! Oh, poor poor Retula, I'm sorry you have been rejected. There will be no marriage nor love either. This man has failed to find a bride. Minus 2% control. Regardless, we will auto-resolve this swiftly with aggressive tactics. Oh, the bloody end to him. Glorious. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, sir. And we will... We will sack this place. There we go. Enemy killed in battle. Very nice. Right, so we've gained some experience on our commander. Uh, currently of which I want to put one into zeal. Or should we do two, actually? That'll give us uh, plus six for the commanding force. Yeah, so it would make our men generally a lot stronger. Reading the ground, uh, ground stalking with the scent of prey and the taste of blood. Plus two zeal and melee attack plus six for the commanded force. Sounds good. From here, we will continue on to Vienna. And we will sack them as well. We're going to go straight down to the coast. Onwards. Let them cower before us. So yet again, we've got overwhelming odds. We're going to... Water resolve, aggressive stance, and just quickly sack this place as well. Get some more money as well for this one. And we will sack it. It only gives a little bit, but it's some money. And uh, our army, our force details are upgraded. So, looking at this, I will have guerrilla warfare, which will... Um, it's plus three morale during forest battles, but the reason I'm doing this is because I want to go straight for Ruin of Rome. Possibly morale versus Romans. I'll put another point in that when uh, this the forces have uh, obtained enough enough um, experience to gain some more, you know, gain the next level of uh, growth. Um, and I'll just continue pushing on down. So I'll end the turn on that note. Very quick, very swift turning. Oh, just got to get down to where I want to be. So I'm going to take out, the, I'm going to prepare for the next battle in the next turn. I'm going to, to place my horde encampment down there and then I will uh, recruit another force get them to gain a, a lot more uh, re recruit a lot more men should be good should be very good just waiting for these quadians to make whatever they're trying to do they're doing a lot it seems a lot of thinking there we go and it's uh, slowly eased off Right, my Imperium's gone off, up. It's gone off, it's gone up. So we can actually recruit more armies. We can do, can't do any fleets yet, but we can get priest, uh, priest, spies, and champions haven't increased, but governor's gone one up to two. Right, we'll keep on pushing. We've got to get out of this area of influence of Vienna, which is some. If I think I, if I quickly just have to defeat them, like so, um, that'll allow me to keep on pushing through. So only because I had men in there, we'll sack it again for a noteworthy. 113. Your next command. And we've leveled up again, which was very Order good for our commander. Hmm. What should we do? I think we'll do that one. Infantry commander. This man is born to lead others, marching at the head of the column. Melee defense plus three for infantry units. Yes, we've got a fair amount of infantry. So I'm going to put one point in that. And we've got some cavalry units as well. Which will, which half a league, half a league, half a league onward, cavalry commander. So, um, 
Melee defense, yeah, that's very good. So I'm going to put one point in there as well. I'm going to get another point at some point. <laughs> another point at some point, yes, definitely. And now we can actually push on to this area here. So I'm going to go place my horde in the forest area, just here. And hopefully we can make an encampment, which we will. Yes, the claws of the bear. And we will attempt to recruit another army. Uh, we have got enough population, it seems. We've got nine, so I will... What's this? A marksman? Missile units? Mentor? What's this? A master planner? Cunning? Mentor? Phyllis warrior? The choices. There's loads we can actually choose from, but they cost money. This one guy here is actually... I can't make a decision. Which one? Fearless warrior? Zeal? A taskmaster? A leader? I'm trying to look for the most... He's not... He hasn't got any loyalty, so I guess he's a family member? Am I, am I right to make that assumption? Beratar? Right, we'll go for him. He's, he's a fearless warrior, so we'll raise an army. Ready for orders. And he can't move currently, but I can expand this area here for food. Yeah, we've got 75 now because we've got another horde. Warriors all. Um, for the tribe. Which I can't ex expand for currently, but I will... Go ahead and give us a... Right, I've already got Raiders Gathering. I guess we go for Lavish Tents. Increases the... Or would we want more food? Have we got enough food? This one here. What does this give us? I think it allows us to build some sort of units. Maybe I might be wrong. Anyway, we're going to go for Lavish Tents just to keep the integrity of our armies up. Nope, screw that. We're going to go communal. Communal grounds. We need the money to come in. We need it rolling in. And we're going to recruit, recruit some all. units as well. Oop, wrong one. Oh, no. We need a spy, actually. I think a spy would be very good. Artisan. Builder. No, don't want any of those. None of those are beneficial. Raise forces. No, I want Thirsty for battle. that screen. And then we'll recruit some units. I'm going to recruit Germanic Warband. They're, they're good. They're good because they have high, excellent armor-piercing damage. We're against, we're against Romans who are generally heavy armored, so that'll be good for us. And I'll get one more unit of cavalry Germanic Mounted Warband so as we can uh, take out any missile units that the Romans bring to us. So we'll end the turn there. Uh, we've got three more turns on this, which will give us labor service. And we're going to take down this area. I'm going to keep on pushing down towards Manabo. We'll end the turn there. Hmm. I haven't seen... The, the Romans don't seem to be pulling any forces through as of yet. But I think Aqua, I think it's pronounced Aqua Sextia, Sex Sextia, Sextia, Aqua Sextia. Caledonians have declared war on the Western Roman Empire. They're over in Britannia. I know that much. Ready um, for orders. I can recruit one more unit in this uh, this horde. Warriors all. Um, we will go for one more unit of cavalry. Are you ready to do your duty and can to we recruit the on this guy? Yeah, we can. Fight one, two, three. Though. It's a good life. Or only two at a time. Well, that's fair enough. He thirsty for he settled. Battle. Don't think I clicked on that, right? Um, yeah, we're gonna go for a raiding, a raiders gathering, so we can actually produce better units out of this horde. And this one, Ready yeah, we're gonna hold one more, one more turn, and then we're gonna bring all our forces towards just the outskirts of the enemy city, and we're gonna declare, we're gonna declare siege upon them. Um. Male faction members may also attempt to secure political offices or... Right, this guy, he can become a companion. He can become a companion. And what else do we have? Have we got any of these guys who want to be companions? I think we'll get him. Berta could be... We can't go for a companion. I guess he's not high enough rank. He can. And so can he. So we'll get all those involved. Other nobles, we just want all this fold up and uh, we gain the benefits. 
Yeah, hopefully they, if they can secure the office. Um, and this guy, I don't know why it's red line. Does that mean he's an illegit illegitimate child? I don't know. I don't know what that red line means, but anyway. I'll find out for next time, and we'll end the turn there. Got two more turns on our research. Rome, what are you going to do? Pushing into your lands, but I haven't actually encountered much resistance as of yet. I know you're uh, encountering loads of uh, enemies along your borders, and I'm right in the midst of your territory, but come on! Show that I'm a noteworthy opponent. Good, he's a, he, um, Lugagios has uh, secured an office, so is Hil Hildeblald. Retula, my son, good job. Ald Adelma. Yes, brilliant, very good. Warriors right, these guys, you can march and you're gonna go begin Let's sieging these over. guys. And it seems in our favour once again, so we'll continue Let the siege. Power us. And with this one here. For yeah, we haven't got enough uh, population on this this army here as of yet, but we can recruit units. I should hope we can recruit units, I'll go for one more slingers. Yeah, one more slinger there, that's good. Very nice. Okay, so we'll let this let this horde actually settlement, um, the Oathbreakers, build up somewhat as we push push in take out Aqua Sextier. Sec Is it Sextier? Aqua Sextier. I can't, I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, but anyway, onwards. End of turn. We'll do an auto resolve on that because it's not going to be much of a battle. I normally do my battles if it's about 50 50. 50 50, I'm happy with. Or if it's, you know, if it's two thirds out of, you know, if it's about 66%, that 33% makes me think, right, okay, I might want to do this by myself to reduce the casualties of my own forces because I know the AI isn't brilliant at calculating these battles. It's quite interestingly done. Oof. No Roman forces have come for me as of yet, which is uh, interesting. Master of State, drunk on watch. This man was drunk when he was supposed to be on watch. The watering down of our elite troops with these bumpkins seems to be the main cause. Engage in faction politics. Okay. So, what's happened here? Right, when he was supposed to be on watch, the watering down of our elite troops of these bumpkins seems to be the main cause. Let every ten men draw straws. He who draws the shortest shall be killed by his fellows. I'll flog him. It was his fault. I shall flog the individual. Right. Why, why has he come out of being... I have no idea, that's strange. I did not ask you to come out of uh, your stance. Okay, we don't, that's fine. Anyway, we'll come just in close range here so we can still engage, uh, but I just want to gain some sight along there. Right, let's do this. Auto resolve, aggressive stance, nice and quick end. And we will sack this city and continue to push into Hispania. Um, and it's going to give us quite a fair bit of uh, money, so yeah, as you can see our treasury is quite sh quite strong at the moment. I'm um, going to recruit some more units here, we're going to get some Germanic brigands, and uh, one more Germanic levy on him, and we're going to continue out. I'm going to go straight for Narbo, we're going to sack this place as well. We're just going to go, we're going to sack all the way down into Spain, we're doing our job. We are doing our job. Right. Well, that, that's quite a quite a successful few turns there so far. Um, I will start researching regional defence. Give us a hunter's camp, which is a uh, allows to expand upon our current roster of units we can make. Um, this is well, it should be fully made. For full, it should be a full army almost. Hmm, the choices. We'll go for one more unit of cavalry. Right, so on that note, I'm going to end the first episode as the Swabians in Total War...
Attila. Um, we've not, not done too badly in the few turns. We've sacked three, four, four settlements of the Romans. I uh, haven't actually engaged in a proper battle as yet, but we are slowly building up forces. But no, I hope you are going to enjoy this series. I'm actually quite enjoying this game. Uh, I'll be doing a few custom battles just to get familiar with the in-game mechanics on the battlefield. Um, but no, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Be sure to have a look at the social media below. Click on them and um, have a look at the Steam group. That's where I post most of my information and on Twitter and Facebook. But no, thank you so much for watching. This is GG Mars Hill signing up for now. Bye.